Hi, my name is Tony Ruperto. I am a realtor over at J. Philip Real Estate in Briarcliff Manor, and I am a member of the Fair Housing Committee at Hudson Gateway Association of Realtors. I'm here to talk a bit about um, what fair housing means to me, why it's important. Um, it is essential in our line of work uh, as realtors, and for me, it has paramount importance as part of the LGBTQ community. Um, I act as my company's designated LGBTQ agent, wherein I help people in the gay community that are moving up to the Hudson Valley find a place where they will love and also feel loved. You know, every single time that I help out a client in the gay community, they ask me, you know, about feeling safe in specific neighborhoods. Um, or that they really like a house, but they're not sure how the neighbors are going to accept them. and. That happens every time, without fail, <laughs> uh, and it really shouldn't. Now, as realtors, we have to be careful how we answer that question, but the goal should be to make it so that those in the LGBTQ community um, don't feel like we have to really ask that question in the first place. Um, now, New York State has one of the strongest guidelines um, out of the whole country, out of any state. Sexual orientation and gender identity are both protected classes. However, in over half the states of the country and on a federal level, uh, those are not protected classes. There are zero protections for, um, you know, the LGBTQ community. I believe in only 20 states there are full protections and the rest of them, there's about two of them that have some of them and then the rest just don't have any. That means that not only can the landlord deny you housing, but you can face legal discrimination from lenders, insurance agencies, and then there's just nothing that you can do about it. And it happens, <laughs> you know, it's not just something that people talk about. People deal with these things every day. I've dealt with my own personal story um, with this issue. It is a bit personal, so I don't really want to broadcast it, but I can assure you that if you ask somebody in the LGBTQ community, um, they or somebody that they know has had trouble with housing at some point in their life. With that being said, um, the work that HGARD does um, upholding the fair housing uh, guidelines and even the steps that our local offices take in the community are indispensable and they are very, very appreciated. Uh, you know, with all the work that we still have to do, we have come a very long way. Um, and it's because leadership in our community is taking a stand for the people that really need it. So during Fair Housing Month, let's just continue to make sure that we are all doing what we can to uphold the guidelines for ourselves and in our business. Thanks.